Hi there, Massimo from the Blue Root team. And today I want to talk a little bit about leads, contacts, accounts, and what the difference is between all of them. So we commonly hear get asked, well, I'm a B2B business and I don't really get the point of leads or what if I have many people that work at the same company? Does that still qualify as a lead? And they don't really connect well and things like that. So I'll start off by saying that if you're a B2B company, we typically recommend most of our B2B customers not to use the lead module. Now that obviously creates some complications and I'll show you how to get around them today. But in essence, leads are really made for very high volume companies that really need to, to have leads that are not good. Maybe they're buying lists or whatnot and they want them to be in one bucket. And where you start running into complications is for example, let's say, I'm going to create a lead and I meet this person at a coffee shop. So I'll say he or she works for Blue Root and the last name is Test, right? And the first name is Michael. So Michael Test, I meet at Blue Root. Now let's say I go back to the coffee shop or while I'm there, I also meet Jenna Test. Well, now I have to retype in Blue Root. And, and, and it's kind of frustrating because both of them work at the same company, but there's no way to see that in the database. They're technically just working at a plain text field. So this is not actually a piece of the database. And so what we often do for customers, and this is kind of a shortcut for B2B is you go back here, you get rid of leads. So under modules and then organize modules, I'm going to get rid of leads. Boom, gone. Now, let me show you a scenario that I just did. So, first I'm gonna create Michael Test, All right? And now I have this field here that's a lookup. So the business he or she works at is actually a piece of the database. It's a relatable entry in another table. And I'll say, well, he works at Blue Root. Does Blue Root exist? No, it doesn't, so I'm gonna create it. So I'm going to create Blue Root, the company. I'm going to hit save and associate, and now hit save. Now, Blue Root is an actual database entity. So I can actually click on Blue Root, and you can see there's one person that works there, Michael Test, but I'm going to go ahead and create another one. So I'm going to put Jenna Test here. Now you can see that Michael and Jenna both work at Blue Root. And in other videos, I'll show you how to actually uh, customize this a bit more. But the underlying idea here is by getting rid of lead, you get a lot of benefits, especially in the B2B world. Now you may say, okay, well, how do I know if everyone's in one bucket called contacts, how do I know which one's a lead or not a customer yet and which one is a customer? So the way we solve that for clients is we actually put something called contact status. And we keep it simple. There's three, prospect, client, lost. Some clients we actually put four, which would be potential client. And so what you do here is in the back end under contacts, I'm actually going to customize the contacts and once it loads here, I'm actually going to create this contact status and then hit edit properties and actually make the default prospect. So what we assume here is whenever you create a new contact, they are automatically a prospect. Then what you do is to kind of clean things up is inside of workflows, and we have more in-depth videos on this, this is kind of a high level, but inside of workflows, what we typically do is we do this. So we create a new workflow in the opportunity module and call, you can call it whatever you want, but maybe I'll call it make client. And so what you would do here is you'd say on field update by stage, and you'd say the stage is closed or whatever your winning stage is. So whenever you win business, basically what I'm telling the system to do here is once you win business or make money on a client, go automatically change that contact status to client. Now you've successfully used leads and clients within the same module and you use the status to toggle if they're a client or a prospect. So I'll hit field update. I'll hit new update. I'll say, I want to update the contact, the status. I want to update it to client. 
Then what we also do is we also update the account. So the business that you're working with, the customer. Okay. So now just to show you what that looks like, if I go into a contact here, Jenna Smith, or Jenna Tess, sorry, and I create a new opportunity. Let's pretend we're trying to sell to them, right? And I hit save. So now if I go into this opportunity, you can see here's the opportunity. And as you can see here, Jenna is still a prospect right here, right? But now when I close this opportunity, market has closed one, and I don't know, I say I made $1,000 in the year. Now when I go into Jenna, you'll see she's a client. And you can also see here in the account is a customer. So those two updates happen through that workflow rule I built. And now what this has done is it has essentially made your database simpler. For B2B, this works a lot better, especially if you're selling to an account that you haven't made money on yet and you have six people that work there. With leads, that becomes very cumbersome. So this is how we often customize it and get rid of leads. And at the end of the day, you may not really need them for your business.